Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And it's quite laughable the mainstream media continues to cover for Biden and his poor economic economy that he has going right now, where people are literally going poor because of it, the economic decisions that this uh, this man has made, uh, based off of obviously his hatred for this country. But in the same time, what what uh, what he does best is make sure he lines the pockets of his family, his friends, and everybody else gets rich. That's aligned with the Bidens. With people that are not, with people that are regular Joes and Janes out there, yeah, they're the ones who are paying the price economically and with so many other things happening right now. So the mainstream media has been called into action to tell you that this impeachment inquiry by the uh, by the Republican Party as they as Congress continues to investigate Biden and Hunter is only driven because they want to distract voters from the economic boom that's happening under Biden. You can't make this stuff up. And if you're <clears throat> if you're a normie out there and you believe the drivel coming out of MSNBC, CNN, and the, all of these other mainstream media outlets telling you that the only reason Biden's being investigated is because to distract you from the booming economy. Really? Are you that stupid that you can't tell that we're not in a booming economy where people are now getting second and third jobs in order to make ends meet because they cannot afford to put food on the table to pay their bills, to pay their electric, to put gas in their car? But yet you're going to tell me, mainstream media, that the only reason uh, Republicans are investigating is because of the booming economy. You're a flipping idiot if you think that. Anyway, so before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. Feel free to share it with your friends and family. Man, I had a had a boop, had a Biden moment there for a second. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. Uh, let's see if we can't get this video up to fifteen hundred likes. Uh, also, a new channel perk memberships. If you are not a member, you can become a member by smashing that join button, getting early access to all videos posted on this channel. That is a perk of a membership. So you can smash that join button, become a member uh, today for the channel, or you can. Uh, send a super uh, thanks. That also helps as well. The best thing you could do is hit that like button though. So before we, uh, let's go ahead and dive into the to the video, to the story that we have here as MSNBC continues to try to gaslight Americans into thinking that it's only to cover up Biden's booming economy. It's the only reason he's being impeached. The backdrop, of course, to all of this is inflation is easing, according to the Fed chair, Jerome Powell. All the economic indicators are really looking strong, uh, strong in a good way, not strong in a, in a dangerously inflationary way. But the voters don't seem to be picking up on that. Yeah, Andrew, you make a couple of good points in that question. Let me get to the first, which is specifically the president's reaction to that impeachment inquiry. The White House posting a statement from President Biden late yesterday where he described this as a baseless political stunt. We'll put it up there that you can read along and said instead. He wrote, instead of doing anything to help make Americans' lives better, they, the Republicans, are focused on attacking me with lies instead of doing their job on the urgent work that needs to be done. They are choosing to waste time on this, again, baseless political stunt that even Republicans in Congress admit is not supported by facts. The president being very critical of those Republicans right now, saying instead of focusing on issues like Ukraine, Israel, and border security, he said Republicans in Congress won't act to help, repeating that multiple times in mm -hmm. his statement. And the White House, having spoken to aides to the president earlier today, they are warning about the potential for this to have a real impact on the economy going forward. The economy, as you noted, that is seeing some real strong signs right now with the potential for a government shutdown increasing as the days pass early January, obviously, is going to be do or die time as it relates to the potential for a shutdown. Just yesterday on the economy, we saw the stock market get to an all-time high, a record high. And it reminds you of something that Donald Trump posted back in 2019 on then Twitter, now X. He wrote the following. He said, you mean the stock market is at hit an all-time record high today and they're actually talking about impeachment? Well, in fact, that is the case this time around as it relates to President Biden. The stock market is in an all-time high. Donald Trump himself said the stock market would plummet under Joe Biden if he became president. It's in an all-time high, and House Republicans are talking about impeachment right now. As it relates to the economy, there are those strong signs right now, some new indicators. The consumer sentiment is getting more optimistic. <laughs> more optimistic. Are you, are you, are you crazy? Optimistic? No. It's pretty bleak out there, unfortunately, with people in the economy. And I have to agree. 
uh, that there is lots of indicators out there that's showing this the exact opposite. You can tell by looking using your own eyes. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media. All linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.